Oh my god. Alright, looks like we are going Ken versus Gunner. Then again, Ken, super, super strong character when he gets in, but yet again, Gunner is just all about zoning people out. Yeah. I actually like uh, AM's you know, Gunner play, just because he plays Gunner, but not the Wi-Fi warrior, I'm going to throw all the projectiles and be a discount Samus Gunner. He actually like tries to like space stuff out, you know? He's like, okay, I'm gonna throw out this fair, make it safe, and then like let you approach and I'm gonna nair you. Like you just see him do a lot of like anti-aerial approach actions, you know? As opposed to just blindly throwing out projectiles hoping like your opponent runs into you. Ooh, trying to get the up air, but not gonna be able to get the multi-hit of it. So Ken was able just to slip through with the focus. Yet again, you know, all these projectiles, you know, it's going to be so hard for Ken to get in just because Ken is so slow, relatively speaking. And again, not the best aerial mobility, so all Ken needs to do is just find his one entry in and then just get that one kill combo for the kill. But, oh, there's the crumple, and that should be it. No, but he's super DI'd it and manages to avoid the shore you can and get the revenge up smash instead. Yet again, that takes some amazing DI on Aimer's part to just avoid that combo. That's why you'll see a lot of Ken's like at higher percents, they'll go for pressing kit instead of Shoryuken. But yet again, Shoryuken will take it there. And ooh, try going super hard for that forward smash tree, but unfortunately, not gonna be able to space it properly. And Ken manages to sneak in an aerial. But ooh, I like that using the downbeat to kind of you know break up Ken's combo right there. Yet again, Ken manages to get in on the misspace card. Oh my god, he read the roll in too, but just, you know, at that point when you have the jab confirmed, you should just go for the, your, your credit fighter. And back air, just enough to take him out. Here we go, Ken, I mean, yet again, this is very doable for Jace. It's all going to come down to, like, can he uh, break the zone? And again, another down B. Gets the air dodge and gets the shore you can, but misses it. And yet again, I feel like that's the second time he's missed it. You know, Aimer just not falling for that combo. And again, that, that combo is just... It's so critical that you get it perfectly spaced. And I feel like that back air uh, swept out the Shoryu and maybe didn't do the true input and just hoping the raw Shoryu would be enough to kill him at this percent. Ooh, trying to mix up his roll off chance, but Aimer just not giving it in and just keeps on racking up this lead. The up air gonna break through the focus and Aimer takes it. Game one. Alright, here we go. Yeah, again, I, I like what Jace was trying to do because he was getting his combos, he was getting in on him. I feel like just the execution of the last like kill confirm needs a little bit more polishing up. Alright. And yet again, certain stages are banned for Battlefield or SD variants just because of the Z access, you know? It's the reason why there's a two... Despite what this game may tell you, this is a, a 3D game in the sense that like some moves access the Z access. So certain moves will whiff or hit depending on whether or not they hit that Z access or not. So I believe the, the most famous example of this case in recent time was a Game & Watch trying to down tilt Lucina after she countered, and the manhole went in between her feet. Yep. So yet again, just deciding on which stage to go, and yet again, going to the King of Fighters stage. King of Fighters, I feel like it's a really cool stage, and it has a lot of cool music in it, but it's kind of hard to see, like, I feel like for as cool as the music is, it's not like, oh, I know the exact name of the song. You just sound like, yeah, that sounds cool. 
here we go. And again, I I feel like the pick to Battlefield, you know, just to kind of like shorten up the, the distance, you know, make it a, a more close-knit stage will make it harder for AEM to like zone out. But at the same time, AEM does have the platforms to retreat to, like there. Sure you can, not gonna be able to do it, but it's nice damage. And a raw sure you right there. Surprising thing get punished, but up smash will punish that landing. And yet again, I feel like he's just gotta learn that you can't focus on landing because he'll just up air him through it. There you go, fair to get him off stage. Yet again, just reading the high recovery with that sure you can not gonna be able to hit him from way over there off stage. It looks like the counter pick does seem to be working out for Jace. There's the four tail. Grab. No kill throw. So yet again, all you can do is hope for stage positioning. But the up tail will crank with the up smash, and so he's able to combo into it. Now for the first time, Jace has the lead in the set. Gotta be so careful about how you approach because just one wrong approach option and GM can just scoop him out. But gets the parry, but not gonna be able to confirm anything off of it. And again, those focus, I feel like focus is just not the move in this matchup, you know? Because if Gunner is underneath you, like they can just space out Ariel so well that like you're not gonna be able to get a punish off the focus. But jab jab sure you. Not gonna be enough to really do a whole lot of damage, but you know what? He's off stage. And yet again, the forward smash will cover normal getup. Talk to gets a couple hits of it, but not able to confirm it to anything more. Forward smash will be punished there. Gears the sure you not enough to kill. Then again, it probably won't start killing until maybe about like 120-ish percent. Again, here's the grab, down tilt, you know what? I, I can respect that, it's not, not going for the shorty at that point. Oh, but gets the down air, the down air! Yet again, that was such a good confirm. But the down smash will catch the roll away. You know, AEM just trying to find his way in the match. The down tilt catching his jump and yet again, Going for this focus, but not landing directly upon him. And that's, I feel like what you have to do against Gunner's Eye. Just can't land directly upon her. There's a Tatsu, but jumps out of it. And yet again, Jace. Can he keep this lead in order to do it? But no, he just throws out these Shoryu. Unfortunately, does not get all the hits of the up smash, so he will not kill. But yet again, he can't throw out all these wild moves like that. Barely manages to spot dodge the, the focus. And I'm pretty sure at that percent, but no, it took his... He didn't have a jump. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. And you know, that's the kind of SD that like really gets on your mind. AM having a, a sigh of relief that he finally took out that stock and now just has to worry about finishing this off. But you know what, another kill confirm off the up tilt, the down tilt, might be able to do it. And yet again, just random focus is just not the right move for Jace. And yet again, Tatsu gonna be punished. Gets the re-grab to up air and up air. Is that gonna be it? That's gonna be it, and AEM takes it. He stole that last stock from Jace, and Jace was just like, that combos? That's a thing? And oh my god, yet again, that's, it's one of those setups that 